Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy again, Coach Bobby. I know you don't want to hear this. It's the middle of summer. It's the dog days of summer, having fun, enjoying yourselves on vacation. The last thing you want to hear about is a math lesson. But I'm going to give you a math lesson today to help you understand what being in shape and what getting fit is all about. And it has to do with math, all right? But before that, I want to, I want to impress upon you guys the importance, right, of, of being all in. Right, of giving 100% in your workout. See, if you don't buy into it, if you don't really want to be fit, it's very hard, it's very hard to get in shape. And what I mean by being all in is embracing, embracing the embodiment of being an athlete. All right, embracing the fact that you have to get up and work hard and do what others don't. Embracing the fact that you're willing to do and sacrifice what others don't, right, in order to get what they won't ever get, right? And that is the feeling of being in shape, the feeling of being in the power, in, in power of your of your fitness, of your health. All right, so so a lot of talk in my class this week has been around full effort. All right, so I've been asking people to do sprints, to do burpees, to do box jumps, to give maximal effort, right? And some debate, argument, if you will, has ensued about whether or not people have been all in, right? And inevitably, it comes back to the fact that people will say, well, I'm doing my best, right? My best is not your best. Well, I'm going to tell you, right, and here's where the math lesson comes in, guys, is that it doesn't matter what I can do, right? It matters what you can do. I'm not asking you guys to to be a CrossFit champion. I'm not asking you guys to be a Spartan race competitor today. What I'm asking you to do every day you work out, if you want to be great, if you want to be the best, if you want to be fit, like you say you do, I want you to be all in, right? I want you to take whatever you have, whatever ability you have, whatever uh, strength and drive and passion, wherever you are in the fitness spectrum, I want you to do the maximal effort at that level. Right, so back to math, it's all about fractions, all right? So the denominator is different for everybody, right? All right, so my maximal box jump might be higher than yours, right? My maximal sprint might be less than yours, right? But all we have to do in order for our bodies to change, right, is to give maximal effort, right? Is to put our bodies in a state of confusion, Right? To put our bodies in a state where it's not used to. Right? So as long as you are comfortable right, doing those 12-pound dumbbells, or as long as you're comfortable doing five burpees instead of seven when seven makes you tired, then your body won't change. Our bodies are like computers, and they will do whatever we program them to do. Right? So you got to be uncomfortable. You got to be challenged. You got to hurt some if you want your body to change. If you don't force it to change, it won't change. So back to the math lesson, guys. Back to the math. All right, so I'm not asking you to use my denominator, right? So again, my sprint might be different than your sprint. My box jump might be higher. I might be doing a heavier weight on the squat or the power pull or the curls. But I'm going to do whatever I can do. And all I ask is that you do what you can do, all right? So I'm not concerned about the denominator, right? the bottom number, right? What I'm concerned about is the numerator, right? So if, you're, if your denominator is a six, I want you to give me six, not five, not four, not three, right? If your denominator is a 10 or 11, I want 11. I don't want five or six or seven, right? So it ain't about what I want, right? It's about what you got inside of you. Right? So if you got six inside of you, I want you to give me six. If you got six, maybe give me seven, right? Force your body to change so that one day the denominator becomes a seven. Right? So right now it might be a four, give me four. Right? But if you keep giving me four, one day it'll be a five. And then you give me five. Alright? And then you keep doing that, and over time your baseline, right, the denominator that you have will be bigger. And that's what you want. You want to grow that number. You want to grow your, your baseline fitness, right? You want to get stronger. You want to get leaner. You want to get higher lung capacity, right? That's only done by maximizing effort, right? So when I say all in, we don't deal with fractions, right? When we commit to ourselves that we want to get better, we commit to being all in, to being one over one, right? Five over five. 10 over 10, 11 over whatever it is. We want the numerator to match the denominator. 
or be greater, right? Not less, not half, not three-fourths, right? We want to be at that level, all right? So, again, I fight a lot with my friends, with my students about giving full effort, all right? So, I, I'm here to tell you when you don't give full effort, when I see it, but I want you to ask yourself, right? Am I giving all? Is my numerator matching my denominator, right? And if it's not, right, I want you to challenge yourself to bring it up and make it match so that one day, even though right now your denominator is this number, it might be a five or six or seven, one day, right, one day you want to raise it up to a nine or a 10 or 11, right? And then you will have accomplished what you want to accomplish, right? But you can't get there, guys, until you start being all in and giving full effort, right? 100%, right? One over one, four over four, Right, not three over four, not five over six. All right, guys. So until next time, I want you guys to be all in. I know it's a math lesson, but it's a math lesson that's relatable to our fitness goals. All right. Until next time, it's Coach Bobby. Have a great day and take care. Until next time, BTY. As always, better than yesterday.